Can a biological father be blocked from seeing his own child? Attorney Abigail Beebe explains why in Florida the answer in some cases is typically yes. father be blocked from seeing his own child? In Florida, the answer in some cases was yes, but one dad scored a major victory in the Florida Supreme Court last month. Attorney Abigail Beebe, who is also the chair of the Florida's Bar's Family Law Section, explains what this means for future cases. Good morning. Good morning. Talk to us about the current law and how it stands for biological fathers and being able to see their children. So there's been a presumption of legitimacy is what they call it, which means that if a woman is married, and gets pregnant and has a child with another man, that man historically really couldn't do anything about it. Right. There's a few cases that have carved out exceptions. Right. Um, but pre prior to this case in June, the Perkins case, the Florida Supreme Court decided that even a biological father could pursue those rights when previously that wasn't the case. Either the mother or the husband, which we call the legal father, right. was the only person that could do that. And. So this changes that whole system, basically, and, and could potentially change it. And how did this case change exactly that? What this case said was that the, resum the presumption of legitimacy is rebuttable, right. although was previously, this gave the biological father the right to file for paternity right. and essentially disestablish the legal father's parental rights. And this case is kind of rare because it's a little bit different than just having a child out of wedlock while you're married. Uh, this was a case where they got pregnant prior to her getting married to somebody and then had the child once she was married. So the biological father was kind of cut out. So it's a kind of a, a weird line that, that, that's surfacing in that area. And the, the facts are how, unusual. And how are the how's the fight go from there? You know, how is the process? And they have to be able to say that they're going to be an added benefit to the child's life, correct? They're going to have to show that they've been involved, participated in whatever meaningful way, which was already the law. Right. Um, there's steps that a biological father should certainly take, one of which is to file with the Florida Putative Father Registry, which most people probably don't know about. Right. And that is one thing that definitely shows that they know that this is possibly their child and that they want to, at some point, potentially assert their legal rights. And being on the board, how, how has this changed the conversation and kind of uh, how you practice? I think it's still to be determined, but the family law section was already looking into this issue. It's obviously a prevalent thing, and it happens across the state for a lot of people. So we were already looking at um, a statutory change, and that's still at the forefront of the conversation for the section. Do you foresee that happening in, some, in the near future? I think this case will definitely accelerate that. And what do you hope to see as far as uh, the changes in the law and for biological fathers? Um, I think that this is a really great step in the right direction as far as sort of clarifying what needs to be shown in order for it to happen. Right. Um, I think it changes the law only in that the biological father now has the ability to pursue those rights regardless of the legal father or the mother's wishes. All right. It's going to be very interesting yes. how it all shakes out in yes. the next couple of years. All right. Thank you so much, Abigail, for